Super Bowl 48 is just one day, but the party lasts an entire week. This week, we anticipate approximately 400,000 visitors to come to the region for game-related events, and about 80,000 will attend the game on Sunday, February 2nd. There's a lot of super hype leading up to the big game. New York's Times Square is now Super Bowl Boulevard, stretching from 34th to 47th Street. Daughtry, the Frey, and the Goo Goo Dolls rock the host committee's kickoff spectacular Monday night. It's just like a big party, so it's always nice to be invited to a big, huge party. Obviously, biggest game of the year, um, so that doesn't suck, being a part of that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're very happy to be here. Hand warmers, heaters, uh, wool socks. It's an honor, though, to freeze with the best of them out here. Jay-Z, Foo Fighters, Kendrick Lamar, and Robin Thicke are just some of the acts performing at Super Bowl parties this week. And, of course, there's lots of excitement over the performances at the big game. Queen Latifah is singing America the Beautiful. Renee Fleming is singing the national anthem. Philip Phillips and the band Perry perform at the pregame NFL tailgate party. While, of course, Bruno Mars and the Red Hot Chili Peppers do the honors at halftime. Aside from the game, it's the commercials. That's right, and more than 100 million viewers are expected to tune in, making these the most highly anticipated commercials on TV. You know, it's Coke versus Pepsi. Um, this year it's, you know, Chobani versus Oikos and the Yogurt Wars. It's kind of a business story that the public connects with. There are 50 to 60 commercials during the Super Bowl. It's very hard to stand out. Fourth quarter, the most expensive quarter. It averages $4 million for 30 seconds. Donnie Lama. Yeah, I just, I just got that. Top-notch ads, big-time performances, parties, fireworks, and, of course, football. All what makes the Super Bowl on Fox the biggest event of the year. In New York, Ashley Dvorkin, Fox News.